She's an actor, comedian, writer, and a huge online sensation. She is currently gearing up for her third international tour, Backup Dancer, that will take her across the U.S. and Canada. And of course, she'll be making a stop right here in San Francisco this month. Here to tell us more and joining me now is comedian Celeste Barber. Celeste, thank you so much for joining us here at Live in the Bay. Hi, thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Yes, I'm so happy to chat with you. And I want to start by talking about when you first went viral on social media. You started recreating photos of celebrities and compared how women are supposed to look in their everyday activities, which is a really fun way to compare <laughs> reality versus social media. Can you tell me how did this idea first get started? Uh, well, I feel like I've been doing it forever now. Um, I started it, I think, in like 2015 was showing my age and just started seeing all these images that were being put on Instagram that were being sold to us as normal, as what like everyday people should be doing, like his gorgeous model on a yacht drinking a green juice and the caption was, just dropping the kids off at school. And I was like, that's not what kids, that's not what it looks like dropping kids off at school. This is kind of what it looks like. So my sister and I would send photos to each other and we'd be like, challenge accepted. And so it kind of came about like that, just making fun of, making fun of that culture that women feel like they have to live up to. Yeah, and they were obviously a hit. You just gained so much traction from these photos. I know that it clearly resonated with a lot of people. So why was it important for you to show the contrast between celebrities, social media, and real women in real life? Well, I don't know if I'm really doing God's work. I just think it, it's funny. I think <laughs> I think it's a funny thing to see, um, you know, I'm actually, I'm making fun of myself before I make fun of anyone else. And, I, I, you know, I, I think it's with social media, it's, it's in our hand all the time. And we can't really turn it off when people say you can, but it's not built for that. So I was like, it's tricky because it can get into your psyche a lot easier than if you're watching the TV or whatever. So I thought it, I thought it would be, you know, a fun, interesting thing to do to kind of just cut through the crap of it and show, show the other side. Well, like I said, I know that it clearly resonated with a lot of people. Um, I know that there was a lot of celebrities that you were kind of, you know, taking their pictures and we saw a lot of Kardashians in there. Did the Kardashians ever reach out to you? Did you, did you get some response from any of these celebrities? I think I did early on. I, I, I think one of the, I want to say Chloe. Chloe one, she, I think she reposted it or something. I have a memory of that. Um, but I hosted the LA Fashion Awards the other night and Kris Jenner was there and I was like, this could go one of two ways with this excellent woman. She could either be like, you're amazing and we think you're hilarious. Or she could say, we're gonna send you a cease and desist and shut the whole thing down. But luckily it went the other way. I don't think she had any idea who I was. So that was good. Well, you know, she, it's, it's her missing out on not knowing who you are. She, you should be someone that's on her radar. Um, but I know that that was an incredible event for you to host. Tell me a little bit about that event. Yeah, it was awesome. The Daily Front Row was, I actually hosted them back in 2019. Um, Lady Gaga was at that one, which was unbelievable. Um, so I got to hang out with her, obviously, because that's a sentence. I just got to hang out with Lady Gaga at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Uh, and this year, um, as I said, Kris Jenner was there. Doja Cat was there, which was amazing. And Bob Mackie. It was just, it's a really fun thing to host. And and they've got, you know, they've got a pretty good sense of humour because i got a lot to say about the fashion industry and you know, the beauty industry and all their standards. So they're, they're, they've got pretty tough skin because I get into them a bit. I had a few Ozempic jokes, which is always fun in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I'm sure those ones went over really well. You're <laughs> right, you're right. Well, you are a woman of just so many facets. Last year, you starred in the Netflix series, Well Mania. What was that experience like for you? Oh, it was fantastic. It was intense, but it was fantastic. I loved it. Like, you know, it's a dream come true. You get your own Netflix series. And I'm really, really proud of that show. I'm really proud of how well it went and how well it was received. Um, yeah, it was just all around, you know, a brilliant experience. And I'm an actor by trade. So being able to be on set, which is my favorite thing to do, was just the absolute best. And I was executive producer as well. So, you know, bossing people around, turns out I'm actually very good at that. 
Hey, that's a great skill to have, being able to boss everyone mm -hmm. around. Um, maybe you're going to be doing a little bit of bossing around in your new tour. You're kicking it off tomorrow. Backup dancer. Tell me all about it. Yeah, tomorrow night I start my tour with Netflix is a joke. So I'm at the Orpheum Theatre here in LA, which is going to be fun. And then, yeah, I'm off on the road for, I think, 25 shows in North America in total. And it's it's going to be fun. I'm really ready to get on stage now. I've been rehearsing the show and going over it. There's, there's a few high kicks. There's a few, you know, homage to Janet Jackson because I've always wanted to be her backup dancer. So um, I'm, I'm really excited to to get it up and get it running. I love that. And you're making your stop here in San Francisco on May 16th at the Masonic. Uh, what can fans expect from this stop? Um, oh, I'm very excited to come to San Francisco. I always love it there. I stop there every time I'm on tour. Um, they can expect just a lot of physical comedy. I'm known for my physical comedy, and uh, this show is not short of that at all. As I, I said earlier, there's a few high kicks. Um, still talk about the old hot husband, which people love. Um, but yeah, just an homage to back to my old dancing days. As I said, I wanted to be a Janet Jackson backup dancer, but that didn't really work out for me. So instead, I just pretend I'm a comedian so I can dance on stage. Hey, next best thing, you make your own rules. You you have a set so that yeah. you can just live out that dream. I can't wait to see those dance moves. Well, where can people follow <laughs> along and keep up with everything that you're doing and get more details on all your stops and tickets and all the good things? Well, everything is on my website, CelesteBarber.com. So you can find everything there. Um, and obviously Instagram is the oracle of all things when it comes to promoting yourself and, you know, just pushing yourself on everyone. So you can, yeah, Instagram or my website, CelesteBarber.com. Celeste, I really appreciate you spending some time with us today. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. You too.